Drug Dealers Anonymous. yesterday at City Field. Uh, it was during a music festival in the afternoon uh, in the afternoon before he performed. He's one of six indicted for conspiracy to distribute more than 100 kilograms of controlled substances on Long Island and in New Jersey. Willie Jr. Maxwell II, known to the world as Fatty Wap, was born June 7th, 1991 in Patterson, New Jersey. He describes Patterson as highly segregated and drugs and violence was easy to find. Patterson is also home to rappers Redman and Joe Button. It's so good to be an artist from Jersey, you know what I'm saying? Be, a, be one of the hottest artists from Jersey right now. Born with glaucoma in both eyes, doctors were unable to save his left eye and fitted him with a prosthetic eye. Born with glaucoma and I lost the eye at six months and I got reconstructed surgery when I was 12. When he was younger, missing an eye used to bother him and he used to fight a lot when people used to make fun of his look. He wore a prosthetic eye until he was around 12 Then he decided that he liked the way the broken eye set him apart and stopped wearing it. Fifth, sixth grade, I got tired of people talking about my eye. I just started going crazy. <laughs> Reconstructed surgery when I was 12, okay. and I just stopped wearing the prosthesis because I didn't want to look like everybody else. Okay. He attended Eastside High School before dropping out and was caught up in the street life. It wasn't until his son, Zuvier, was born that he started looking for a way out and started to pursue his music career. I went to Eastside for like two years. I dropped out as a sophomore. Um, and I got introduced to 12 and 22nd. I rapped this block, 12 and 22nd, because that block turned me to a man. Showed me how to uh, provide for my family. And you don't, I mean, you don't take a lot of nonsense coming from 12 Dad. His rap name was just Fetty, which is slang for money, but later added WAP to pay homage to his favorite rapper, Gucci Man, also known as Goo Wap. Uh, listen to Gucci Man. I listened to one of his songs. My favorite, my favorite mixtape was Chicken Talk. Remember, that's the first mixtape I heard Gucci Man. Yesterday, I met Gucci Man. I met motherfucking Goo Wop and that new drop. And I'm coming back like two pop. <laughs> Fetty Wop will hit the streets selling copies of his mixtapes, shirts, sweaters, and hats, repping his groups, Remy Boys, and Zoo Gangs on the streets of Patterson. See where it all started at right here, yo. That's why I sold my first mixtape, my first EP. Rummy Boy sweaters, hats, Zoo Gang sweaters, everything that I could to get my name out there. That's why I started it from right here. Fetty Wap started out just rapping, but he wanted to set himself apart from others, so he started to sing as well. That would pay off because Trap Queen was the first time Fetty Wap tried his half rap half sung style, which has since become his trademark. That track first made its way around Patterson before catching the ears of DJ Funkmaster Flex. He also caught the ears of Bobby Smurda and Kanye West who called Trap Queen his favorite song at his New York concert. I want to bring our special guest, young new artist, my favorite song guy, Fetty. Good luck in the future, man. Taylor Swift even brought Fetty Wap out to perform Trap Queen at her concert. Shooting straight to number one. You hear their music at every party, 
every time you turn on the radio, everyone knows every word to this artist's song, and it happens so fast because this artist struck and hit a nerve and put out something so infectious that you could not live without it. This is one of the artists who has had that rare kind of ascent straight to the top. But he's also one of the most grounded, sweet, cool people I've ever gotten to hang out with. And I would like for you to take note that he's nominated for two VMAs in the hip hop and new artist categories this year. For his video, for his song, Trap Queen, Trap Queen, now a platinum record, will put him on the map and open doors for him. He will go on and drop numerous hits like 679, Again, and My Way, which Drake hopped on the remix. All I gotta do is put my mind to this shit. Throughout his rap career, he will work with artists like Lil Dicky on Save That Money, French Montana on Coke Zoo, and Nicki Minaj on on like a star. Throw the confetti, I'm wild petty. Tell your hoes go and dream my spaghetti. His sudden rise to stardom will slowly start to fade away. Like the saying, what goes up must come down. Once he stopped making hit records, fans slowly faded away. With no hits, losing fans equals less money. With the same bills was a recipe for disaster. While doing an interview with DJ Academics, he explained how he knew he was falling off, and this is what he had to say. I was doing like 150,000 a month bills, but I was, see, that's the dumbest shit I was doing. Like, matter of fact, yeah, if I had to, it was jewelry and like apartments. I had a lot of fucking apartments, clearing 100,000 every day. Now, the day I woke up and I only made like 40,000, I'm like, uh uh, some shit ain't right. I'm like, all right, it's happening. I'm like, this, this, where that, this, this, where shit started getting dark. For like six months, yeah, I was broke, bro. Over the years, Fetty Wap has been on the receiving end of multiple lawsuits, including copyright infringement, defamation, property damage, and assault. At 1.20 a.m. on November 2nd, 2017, he was arrested after being pulled over on a Brooklyn highway. He was charged with drunk driving, reckless endangerment, aggravated unlicensed operation of a motor vehicle, illegally changing lanes, and drag racing. Rapper Fetty Wap is facing charges after police say he was caught racing another driver in Brooklyn while intoxicated. Police pulled the Trap Queen rapper over just after 1 a.m. on the Gowanus Expressway. Wap, whose real name is Willie Maxwell II, gave the officer an expired New Jersey license and was given a sobriety test, which he failed. He's facing 15 charges, including reckless endangerment, DUI, and speeding. In July 2021, Fetty Wap's daughter Lauren died at the age of four. Her death was caused by complications of congenital heart failure. Going broke and everything else in his life going bad, he felt like his back was against the wall. He wanted to continue to live the life he was accustomed to and the only way he could do that was go back to the streets. 26,000 of me. For no reason. <laughs> like, no apparent reason. Felt like I could have brought out some more. I got more space. Fetty Wap and others would get their drugs from the West Coast and use the postal service and drivers with hidden vehicle compartments to transport the drugs across country to New York, where they kept the drugs. Search warrants executed during the investigation found 1.5 million in cash, 16 kilograms of cocaine, two kilograms of heroin, fentanyl pills, and multiple firearms.
told the defendants would get drugs on the West Coast and use the U.S. Postal Service and drivers with hidden compartments to transport the drugs across the country to Suffolk County where they were stored. Fetty Wap's role, according to officials, a kilogram level redistributor for the trafficking organization. As part of the investigation, approximately $1.5 million in cash, cocaine, heroin, fentanyl pills, handguns, pistols, and ammo were recovered. On October 29th, 2021, federal prosecutors unsealed an indictment against Fetty Wap, where he was described as a kilogram redistributor for the organization and charged him with one count of conspiracy to distribute. He was arrested at City Fields and pleaded not guilty to federal drug charges in New York. Fetty Wap was released on a $500,000 bond on November 5th, 2021. He was put back in jail again on August 8th, 2022, after violating the terms of his pretrial release. Maxwell has been behind bars since his bail was revoked a few weeks ago when the government learned about an incident that allegedly involved him holding a gun up to the phone during a FaceTime call with another person threatening multiple times to kill them. On August 22nd, 2022, he pleaded guilty to his drug charges and on May 24th, 2023, Fetty Watt was sentenced to six years in prison in New York. It's a minimum of five years to a max of 40 years in jail. Willie Jr. Maxwell II, better known in the rap world as Fetty Watt, pleaded guilty to conspiring to distribute over 500 grams of cocaine. Now, take a look at this video. It's a story we've been covering since the beginning. The rapper was arrested back in November. He pleaded guilty to distributing and possessing cocaine back in 2020. Now, some of the distribution taking place right here in Suffolk County. In addition to jail time, he'll also be responsible for fines and a min minimum of four years of supervised release. Ma it's crazy. Fetty Wap went from topping the charts and being a hot new artist to behind bars in less than five years. Keep your head up and hopefully when you release, you can make more hits to top the charts again.